Hello, everyone. I have Erin Stewart with us today, and Erin just finished our 21 day challenge, the sacred self discovery challenge. So I wanted to come on and have a conversation with her while this 21 day program was fresh in her mind. Um, Aaron, can you remember where you were at, like right before you joined the challenge? Like what made you think it was a good idea for you? I was um, actually in the process of thinking, you know, I really need to start working on myself again, I need to get back into healing myself and doing my morning routine ritual again, because it, I always love doing it, but I hadn't done it in so long. And it just kind of fell into my lap at the exact perfect moment because I needed that kick in the butt to get back to me. I love divine timing. <laughs> Everything happens exactly, <laughs> it, exactly how it should. And if you think it's a coincidence, there's no such thing, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And when you think about the challenge itself, was there anything that surprised you about it? Or if you can't think of anything that surprised you, like what, what was your biggest takeaway? I think just reminding us how important that morning ritual is, you know, and actually I hadn't reached, hadn't used my Oracle cards in a really long time. And that was the first thing I wanted to do with my morning ritual. And the first one I pulled, I remember I posted it on the group it was perfect. It was telling me like, you need to do this right now. You need to, you know, heal yourself and ask yourself the tough questions. So it just reminded me again of how important it is to get in tune with ourselves again and our spirit guides. And, you know, it just, yeah, it just kind of blew me away a little bit. Like, oh yeah, I remember how powerful this can be. And so divine. It's like, we know what to do. Sometimes we just struggle to do it. Right. Yes. Uh, and have you noticed anything has shifted for you in the past few weeks? I have. Um, already I've noticed that I'm calmer. I'm able to, there's a lot going on in my life right now, a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, but I'm handling it again as a better version of myself without the anger and the tears. It's more, you know, just, okay, let's sit and think this through and be calm about it, right? And find a solution as opposed to just, well, uh, you know, throwing my hands up in the air and getting upset. So, um, and I'm finding I'm able to guide my daughter a little better um, through changes in her life right now, just a little easier, I guess. Like I'm just calmer. Beautiful. So that's my biggest change right now. Well, that's that's literally exactly what I was hoping that you would get out of <laughs> I always talk about reconnecting with our higher selves and I don't know about you, but my higher self is pretty damn calm. She doesn't have anxiety. She knows how to respond rather than react. And I might not show up with her every single day, but it's always my goal. <laughs> exactly. And I just reconnecting with that part of myself again has really helped me remember how I want to show up. Thank you. Yeah. And if you were talking to somebody who was considering joining the next 21 day challenge um, and maybe they were on the fence, not sure if it was the right thing for them. Um, is there any words of wisdom that you would share with them? I would just tell them to do it. Just put aside all that, you know, your ego telling you not to do it, put aside all that, any negative thoughts you have toward it and take that those few weeks for yourself and just put everything that you can into it you know, give it the time that it needs without, you know, affecting you, of course, you know, don't take away from it anything else, but just do it. Take that time for yourself. It is so worth it. Yeah. So worth it. Yeah. I find it's so hard for a lot of us women to put ourselves first. Like there's so Definitely. much guilt. So there's so much guilt, like mom guilt. Oh, if I'm, if I'm doing something for myself, then it takes away from my kids or it takes away from the house or it takes away from my husband. Do you have anything to say about that? You know what? Maybe for 10 minutes a day, it does, but those, you know, 10, 15 minutes a day that you focus on yourself or even an hour a day, however long you need, you are then showing up so much better for your kids, for your husband, for your pets, for your household. And they feel that and they feed off of that too. So you start noticing how it kind of pours down to them and everyone gets calmer and you're just, yeah, maybe I spend 10 less minutes with my daughter today, but that extra time I had with her was so much better because I was in a better place. I wasn't irritated looking at the time, you know, it was just, let's do this. So yeah, yeah. it's worth it. 
I resonate so much with that. <laughs> you guys have all heard me say like, hey, putting yourself first is not selfish. Making me time is not no. self-care is not selfish because it does help us show up better for our kids. And I think it our kids can. Yeah, it's very awesome. important. Beautiful. Well, thank you so much. I know that your words are going to be really inspiring to anybody who's watching this video. So Erin, thank you. Thank you so. so much. I'm so grateful that you have chosen me to help you on your journey. I, I always <laughs> you're glowing. You're glowing. I can see the laser shift. So I'm very, very grateful. Thank you, Erin. Thanks, Jenny.